You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! The Almighty says this must be a fashionable fight. It's drawn the finest people. Right. I've just watched on YouTube, from Speaker's Corner, a video by Bob the Builder calling another man a heretic. Right? Now, I am shocked. You call yourself a Christian, my friend. Right? I have complete understanding that everything you say out of the Bible is nearly 100% accurate. You are nearly there. But my response to you calling this guy a heretic is that you, my friend, have got your words completely corrupted. Defending the church. Was the Bible written for the church? No, it wasn't. It was written for everyone to follow in that of Christ. Did Christ write, say everything? For the church. No, he didn't. He did not. Right? What you've got wrong is the fact that you celebrate Lent, you celebrate Easter, and you celebrate um, Christmas Day as well. You, my friend, you, my friend, are committing adultery. Uh, not adultery, sorry, idolatry. Easter is Ishtar Day. Lent is the build-up to Ishtar Day. Christmas Day is the birthday of Tammuz. And you're there slating someone for telling you the truth. The Trinity isn't in the Bible. Yes, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is three. One to the power of three is one. Right? Don't sit there and accuse a true Christian who actually knows what he's saying and you're there saying that he's a heretic. Then you bring up the Crusades. You're defending the Catholic Church. You, my friend, are a heretic. You, my friend, need to understand your pagan roots if you're going to sit there and say that this guy was a heretic. I'm going to defend this guy because obviously you do not understand what a heretic is. You, my friend, need to understand that the feasts of the Bible, the seven feasts, so you've got tabernacles, Passover, all that stuff, you should be following. You should not be eating pork. You should not be repeating same ramblings of prayer. If when you speak to the Lord, you speak from the heart, my friend. Do not sit there and call someone else a heretic if you do not understand the scripture yourself, it is blatantly clear. Now, someone, whoever sees this, who even speaks to this Bob the Builder guy, make sure you pass this video to him. I am not going to sit there and let some geezer sit there and justify why the church, the church, right, is the word of God. Explain that to me, because in my knowledge, my friend, I do not understand that whatsoever. I will defend anyone, anyone who is against anything of the church, which I am. Let's put it this way. When you go to church and you put that little white piece of bread in your mouth and sip out that cup, that, my friend, is a pagan practice. That, my friend, you need to get away from. That, my friend, you need to wake up. You need to wake up because you are complaining to other people about following pagan traditions when you are doing it yourself. It is a disgrace. Do not sit there and judge another man for his beliefs on what he is doing. I will defend my faith to the grave, my friend. And when the guy says about, listen, the original conversation you had with this geezer was about if your wife was getting raped, would you go in and, and intercede it? Right? The guy was wrong on saying he's just going to sit down and pray. You do have the right to go up and remove that person. Not to be violent. You remove that person. Then you have two witnesses, like it says in the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament, you still have to follow them laws. Do you understand? So, anything in the Old Testament, you still have to follow the commandments of God. Because obviously you do not understand the whole purpose of your life on this place. You really don't. And it's shocking how you can sit there and, and you defend the Christianity faith 
but also defend the pagan side of it. That is shocking. That is shocking, my friend. You need to get yourself woken up and do you complain that you do all this research. You're not researching the right stuff then, my friend. Research the true historical place that all these festivals, if you celebrate St. Paddy's Day, St. George's Day, these are church establishments placed in by the church. Are you following God? If you think the, the, the Pope, if you're going to turn around and say the Pope is the bridge to God, then you, my friend, are heading yourself straight to hell and you need to turn yourself back around and wake up to what's really going on. Because that is absolutely disgraceful for you to sit there and, sit and proclaim yourself to be a Christian when you are failing to do the practices told in the New and Old Testament not to follow paganism. And you're doing it. And you're doing it. It's shocking. It's shocking. Wake up, my friend. Wake up. Wow. It is absolutely disgraceful. The fact that you go to a church on a Sunday is Sunday worship. Sunday worship. You, my friend, need to wake yourself up. Wake yourself up. I am a true Christian, my friend. I do not go to church for the fact that is that if you call a reverend or anything like that, a reverend, a father, a pope, what, whatever, that, my friend, is saying that uh, he is a father. That is what it is. If you call someone father, you are making yourself put another man on the same level as God. That means you are not actually worshipping God. You are putting more gods into it, which makes paganism. You, my friend, I am very worried. I I was really into your work until I seen this video and it absolutely tweaked me on. Then I seen another video about you celebrating all these you, my friend, saying, following the church, look into the history of the, of the church. You obviously haven't done your true research. You haven't looked into the true nature of the church. And it's shocking. Absolutely shocking. A lot of your stuff is correct. Don't get me wrong. You know, I bless you for that. Especially the fight you bring into these false religions like Islam. I'm 100% with you. But when I seen this video, I blew my lid, my friend. Because, you know, you're being a hypocrite. Being a hypocrite. Wake up. Wake up, my friend. Wake yourself up. Actually look into it. Actually look into your own history like you claim. Like you've been saying to all these people. Wake yourself up, man. Shocking. Peace out.